<laughs> What's going on guys, Shaq Reacts here once again, and today you see some crazy clips of the worst rejections I can find. And like always guys, my favorite clip will be at the end, but in this first one, it is absolutely insane. This woman decides to tell her ex the truth. What would you change about your ex? Nothing. I mean, she was perfect in every way. His teeth are crooked. She had this great smile. His hair looked like a wig. I was like, oh, maybe he had cancer. And honestly, I wish... Always lit up a room. I had to use deodorant right after hugging him. I still think about her to this day. His mom died when he was 10. Didn't really care for that. I don't think I'll ever meet anyone like her again. Jawline? Fuck. Nose? Fuck. Ears? Okay. Just kidding. Fuck. He looked like a human being halfway transforming into a rat. Yeah, I used to wear my contacts at night. So his face would be blurry in the morning. But this pretty much proves that no matter how you treat a woman, if she is not attracted to you, she will never change her mind. This guy is in dire need of a villain arc, and I hope he actually achieves one by this. If he doesn't lose feelings for her after hearing this, I'm not sure what will. Hey, your beauty is like an astronaut because it's so out of this world, and it has the ability to touch the moon. Can I have your number? This is not even Riz, this is literally negative Riz. She continued walking and didn't even change her step. What advice do you have for young women who turn to OnlyFans for solely financial reasons? What else could they do for money? Literally anything else. I actually had a friend, ironically, in Miami, went to a, a club one night and she just turned to the whole life. And I remember I was so broke and she was living in like a condo in Miami. We were in our early twenties, you know, sleeping with everybody, Drake, da, 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 you know, and I was just like, it's so unfair. She has everything. And it's like, of only I just slept with this guy. Like I could have everything that he has 10 years later, almost to the day. I was with Charlie Kirk. We walked into the Four Seasons Hotel in Los Angeles and she was the hostess. Wow. Working. Wow. Oh shit. So it's, Damn. you know, you make a deal with the devil. But this is usually the end result of all OnlyFans creators, unless they really do invest their money correctly, which they do not. But they usually end up being super alone and regretting all their decisions when they were younger because they wasted their youthfulness when they should have been looking for a husband. Biggest ick a guy's ever given you. When, like, they're ordering food at a restaurant, it just, like... Shut up. Like, yeah. I can't. Like, shut up. It's like, I don't know why, but it's so unexpected. So let me just starve, I guess. What is the solution here? Sophia has slept with 11 people. I have slept with 13 people. Shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? That's 13 what's up, bros, in the club. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? 13 is way too many bodies, bro. That's a lot of niggas, bro. Dead serious. That's 13 different Johnsons. All type, all different shapes and sizes. They could run a, a, a good five on five. A good, they could have good runs that day. Real shit. That's good runs. That ass. She don't even look like she go 13 body. Average penile is five inches. Average strokes per bust is 100. 6,500 inches of cock at least. This guy described it perfectly. Imagine dabbing up that many boys. It's literally a classroom full of men. Knowing that every single one of them got inside your girl. It's definitely not a good feeling to have. And for some odd reason, there are some men who look past this and say, the past doesn't matter. And they're lucky enough to at least have her now. Do you guys actually count? Like as adults? Do you have like, do you have like a notes app in your phone? Do you have like a special little diary where you write everyone's name? Like, do you guys actually count? I, I don't. If I were to give you an estimate, 200, three maybe. Only fans detected, so opinion rejected. Period blood gotta taste like some exotic tomato sauce or something. Just wanna try it once, put it on some pasta, and in place of Parmesan cheese, we can just use a little discharge you know a little here a little there yeah someone take away this woman's social media camera and pretty much everything because no one needs to hear this on the internet craziest thing that's happened to y'all done in 2023 i linked the and made another watch my dog at my crib while i was gone yeah so you pretty much cheated and you had him like babysitting the dog you do it first i gotta do it where it's double the payback that is absolutely foul but i guess that just means choose your woman wisely and understand if you're getting played or not a woman will give obvious red flags if you know she's cheating pick the guys that you want to date i don't need a man why not date a guy what's going on there or anybody because i can do what a guy can do but what about kids and family i can adopt do you think it's better for a kid to be raised with one parent or two i think it's better for two because i didn't get to experience having two parents yeah. so then why put your kid through only having
having one parent then? I don't know. Now you'll never hear a man really say he can do whatever a woman can do. It's only the women that are super proud about, I guess, gloating that they don't need a man and they're better off without them. These guys will do when they're trying not to like someone. They're going to distance themselves. They're going to be a little flirtatious. But the moment they decide that they don't want to have these feelings for you anymore, they keep everything really short. They're done with crushes and emotions. They're just fed up. Guys, let me know. This one is absolutely correct. If a man is not attracted to a woman, he'll pretty much cut it super short. There's no reason for them to pretty much prolong the conversation and lead a woman on because they get nothing from him. Turn now, Ms. Virgin. Let's go ahead and put your dream guy in there. What's the bare minimum education he's got to be for you? Minimum education? Wow, he has to have a master's. Okay. Minimum. Go ahead. Name three countries. Three countries. Yes. Um, you got this. Um. Um. Maybe where you want to do your honeymoon? Let's say... I mean, you travel all with boats and shit. You should where know. Where are you from? Uh, where am I from? Let's say Africa. Okay, what else? What other country? <laughs> <laughs> Nate, one more. You got this. What other country? One more. Yeah, Alaska. Fantastic. <laughs> and this is exactly what I mean about how some women will want a really high valued man, however, bring absolutely nothing to the table. This woman thinks her looks itself will be able to, I guess, bring this kind of guy. However, she's the kind of girl who does OnlyFans and shows off her body all over the internet. So at that point, what value are you really bringing? Nothing. Forcing a man means you can get a white sofa. I don't know why. Because I don't live with a man. And, and a man can't ruin it. Only I can, but I won't because I'm responsible. L look, it's it's white. So imagine getting a divorce with your man and the only thing you have to show for it is a white couch. That's the only benefit you get from it. Are you serious? Oh, shit. 2023? 20, 40? Really? You just make that up. No. Ish. 40-ish? For business or for pleasure? For pleasure. Okay. When you're out on a first date with someone, how do you know if you're going to give it up to them that night or you're going to draw it out a couple dates? How hot he is. So that's all it depends is the hotness factor. Uh, yeah, I mean, if he's a dick, though, he's not going to get anything. There's going to be some guy in the future really thinking he struck gold with this woman and this is going to be his wife someday. Imagine this being the highlight of your life. That's absolutely sad. Can you explain what an incel is? So an incel is just like someone who is involuntarily celibate. That loser sitting on Reddit for 23 hours a day um, with cheetah dust and empty Mountain Dew cans all around them. And it just has a real stank smell that is involved with these people. Perfect. Because I'm just gonna paint you an image, and like the fedora is a yeah. little crusty, and the the beard, the, the neck beard is strong, but the facial hair is weak, and there's a bald spot in the back, and you could just and you could just see the fedora just hanging on for dear life, and he's sitting there mutter, muttering under his breath about how Jessica Alba's uh, ugly. Right. You know, Literally. like yeah. that's what you're talking about. <laughs> I feel like all the girls in the podcast also know the irony of what she's saying. However, she doesn't see it herself. There's no way she doesn't see herself as an incel either. And overall, this is just super cringe to watch. However, you already know the comments were full of, yes, you go queen. We were together. Would you tolerate cheating from me? Of course. I would. Now, why is that? Um, because men biologically cheat. Because you can go sleep with a girl right now and it's just pleasure. For example, we're surrounded right now by a shit ton of amazing clubs. You can walk into the club right now, get stupid drunk, and just have a one-night stand. But you're still coming home to me, sleeping with me, providing for me, and doing everything you're supposed to. It's just biologically made the men are going to go ahead and cheat because it's just pleasure. You know what I mean? It's status, basically, when men cheat. But when women cheat... It's disrespect because when we cheat, it's a connection. Like we cheat with intention, we cheat with emotions. You guys don't cheat with emotions, we do. So I don't think a man should stay with a woman that cheats. On yeah, I'm just gonna casually disagree with that. Now I see how this woman is trying to be understanding. However, a man should also just be very in control of his emotions and not chase after something just because he has a rush or a feeling for it. It doesn't excuse the fact that it's still not right. The same way I want a woman to control her emotions when she's upset or it's that time of the month, I'm gonna want a man to control his feelings as well. It's not an excuse because you're biologically in tune of it. Is that, is that your girlfriend? Not really. I don't think so. No? You don't like him? No, we're... Just friends? Yeah. No, no, no hey. No, we're just friends. You have feelings at all? No, I mean, Ever? I did. No, I no, did. come on. Why are you doing like that? 
No, 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 it was mutual. It was mutual, I swear. Hey, hey, Bennett, come here. You think my boy Bennett is cute? Personally, not my type. No offense. Not your type? What about Joe? What about Joe? Joe, pull it. Personally, not my type. Who the hell? Have on me, have on me, have on me. Have on me. Have on Dark chocolate. We got every flavor. How on me? I say you're the closest. I'm the closest. Hey, can I get a kiss? Yes, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Let's get a kiss. Oh, oh shit. Shit. Damn. Oh, shit. Damn. Damn. <laughs> she was really about to kiss another man right in front of a guy who already previously liked her. And this pretty much shows that if a girl doesn't like you and she's not attracted to you, stop being friends with her. She will only disrespect you. And clearly she doesn't even care about this man's feelings. But thankfully she got rejected at the end and got a taste of her own medicine. But that is wrap it up for you guys so much for watching. If you guys want more content just like this, please click links you guys at the top of the screen. It does help my channel a lot. But see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.